Okay, let's look at how to create some custom painted uh, control layers with uh, some OSO networking and uh, 3D Studio Max viewport and the vertex painter. So as you can see here, I can uh, I'm both painting on uh, diffuse channel and uh, the uh, roughness roughness uh, channel here at the same time and as you can see here it's very decent um, there's no lag here it's just it just works super fluid so how to obtain this kind of uh, entire activity well you need to uh, send out the vertex paint tool on an empty channel channel 2 in this case and um, I have channel 2 here that's uh, map channel 2 and as if you follow this one we go into a looks node that's uh, 1 and of 10 that goes to the diffuse slot down here and I control uh, how to look at it by sending out 0 because we have that attached to input zero here. Let's check it out. Yes, I'm correctly. And uh, we're now looking at the uh, actual uh, vertex color information here. So as you can see, it's the canvas is white, and we're actually painting black. You could reverse this, of course. That's up to yourself. Uh, I'm leaving you with this uh, version um, um, but um, and then we can quickly uh, change to the uh, textured version here and the, um, the effect uh, translates uh, pretty well and uh, responds pretty well um. oh. so we can also go like this so that's up to you um and um, so we got a more um, drier spot down here not quite um, so uh, so we have a uh, looks node here integer that uh, controls the diffuse look and the uh, a composite comes from um, from this bitmap here. You can see here we source the color up to we have a a checker here, red and green. Uh, it basically just says um, where we paint it will be red, and where we paint everything else will be green. 